SCC Makerspace is a brand new makerspace on Sacramento City College's main campus. In less than a year, we have filled this space with state-of-the-art technology and countless passionate student makers. Our goal is to serve as an interdisciplinary hub and provide opportunities for hands-on, team-based learning. Our success is due to three main practices, showing up, saying yes, and breaking from the traditional classroom environment. But it is sort of the field of dreams where if you build it, they will come. And I honestly think that the best way to have done this was to just do it as quickly as possible, as rapidly as possible, and to then just iterate it over and over. Um, I come in every day because I see the growth that this place has created and the buzz that's created on our campus um, for what we've been doing. People are like, oh, this exists here now? Um, and it, it's just such a huge change in such a short amount of time. I think about six to eight months now that we've been working at this and I come in every day to see what new is going on, who's building something different, um, what are their ideas and their takeaways. I love the idea of, of creating an open environment, like I said, of just telling people, let's investigate your idea, instead of saying, no, that's not possible, or we can't do that best based with this machinery, or we can't do it with our tools. Um, we'll naturally find all those things. And from, from a difficult idea coming in the door, immediately saying, let's figure it out, rather than no, or I don't think that that'll happen is, is, uh, is important to me. According to the biggest cross-national test in the world, which measures reading ability and math and science literacy among elementary to high school age students, less than 40% of 4th graders, 34% of 8th graders, and 25% of 12th graders in the United States are considered proficient or advanced in math and science. What's that? According to Forbes magazine, Shop class is dead, and so is America's skilled workforce. The California A through G high school requirements do not require shop class because it is considered a burden to support. In response, students and faculty have come together to change the way they learn and teach. You see that generational gap, that chain that's been broken and it's starting slowly to be mended back together. Um, we have students who have never picked up a power tool before in their life and they come in and they go, how do I use this? Um, I want to learn how to do this. to try things without your consequence, without, oh, I spent $50 on this kit to build a thing and now I feel like I'm obligated to do something with it. Now it's, you come into a place like this makerspace and you see all of these opportunities and all of these options and all of these resources and you can pick something up and try it and if it doesn't work, you move on to the next thing or if it does work, you try a little harder, you move to the next step with it and you know maybe that inspires a, a, a degree change or a, a path for you to move forward in your life. Uh, having something like a makerspace where you're, you're exposed to many different things, uh, many different potential jobs all at once was something that really would have impacted me in what I wanted to do with my life because it took me a long time to figure out what I wanted to do. With the capabilities of 3D printing and laser cutting, I can take all my assignments and I'll make them a tangible object, a single assembly, 
and now you know make what was once on paper now be an actual object in your hand. It provides that by offering tools, offering uh, resources, people, connections, networking. So that allows us to not necessarily just remain focused on one subject, but it allows to explore and learn from other people and grow with it because, I mean, one brain is good, but having multiple brains working together, that, you know, that's how things really happen, that's how things really grow. Our success is due to showing up, saying yes, and breaking from the traditional classroom environment. The next step is to continue making ties across campus that allow faculty to integrate the makerspace into their curriculum. This is how we reach more students, empowering them to follow their curiosities and learn by making. <laughs>